All right, so we're diving deep today into UX design. Yeah, UX design. With this guide, getting started as a UX designer. Sounds fun. I think it'll be really interesting to like dig into this and see what we find. Yeah, like I think- Because we interact with UX design every single day. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, every time you open an app or go to a website, yeah, exactly. you're experiencing UX design, whether you realize it or not. Right. And some of it is good, some of it's bad. Oh, absolutely. Some of it can be so frustrating. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> So let's like break it down, like what actually is UX design? Well, it's really all about how a user interacts with a digital product, like an app, a website, or even like a kiosk. Yeah, like those kiosks at the airport are the worst. Oh my God, yes. Sometimes you're just like, why is this so hard to use? So when you're like trying to get your boarding pass and it's just a nightmare. Exactly. And that's like bad UX design right there. Right. So UX designers, they're like responsible for making sure that stuff doesn't happen right. Yeah. They try to make things as easy and enjoyable to use as possible. This guide mentions a lot of different responsibilities for UX designers. Mm -hmm. So what are like some of the key things they do? Well, first, they have to understand users. So they do user research. Oh, it's user research. Talking to users, observing them, understanding their needs and pain points. So like interviewing people and watching them use stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and then they use that information to design the structure of the app or website. Like how everything's organized and how you move through it. Right. That's called information architecture. Then they create wireframes. What are wireframes? Like blueprints, but for digital products, they show the layout of the screens and how everything is connected. Oh, okay. And then do they like actually make the visuals too? Sometimes they might create prototypes, which are like interactive mock-ups to test out the design. So they really do a lot. They do. And they often work with other designers and developers to bring the whole thing to life. I think it's really cool that there's a focus on making design accessible for everyone too. Yeah, equitable design is super important. And what does that mean exactly? Yeah. Making sure that everyone can use the product regardless of their abilities. So like, Someone with visual impairments should be able to use it just as easily as someone without... Like high contrast mode and stuff. Exactly. Or making sure the text is large enough or that there are alternative ways to navigate. Makes sense. So it seems like there are different types of UX designers too, right? Yeah, there are generalists, specialists, and T-shaped designers. What are those? Generalists have a broad understanding of all aspects of UX design. So they're like the jack of all trades. Yeah, and then specialists focus on a specific area like user research or visual design. So they go really deep in one area. Right, and T-shaped designers have a specialty, but they also have a broad understanding of other areas. So like they have a main focus, but they can also branch out. Exactly. What are some of the most popular specializations these days? Um. Well, UX research is always in high demand. Makes sense since it's all about understanding the user. Right. And then there's voice UI design, which is becoming huge with smart speakers and virtual assistants. Oh, yeah. That's a whole other world. It is. And accessibility is also becoming more and more important as we realize how crucial it is to design for everyone. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about what UX designers do and the different types. But what about the actual process of designing something? Well, it's iterative which means it's a cycle of designing, testing, and refining. So it's not just like they sit down and create the perfect thing on the first try. No, it's a lot of trial and error and getting feedback from users. And there are frameworks to help guide that process right. Yeah, like design thinking, which is all about understanding the user's needs and coming up with creative solutions. And there's another one, the double diamond. Yeah, that one helps you define the problem explore different solutions, and then converge on the best one. Okay, so it's like a way to organize your thinking. Exactly. And there are tons of other frameworks, too. So there are, like, tools and methods for each step of the way. Exactly. So what makes good UX design? Well, it has to be usable first and foremost. So easy to use and navigate. Right, but it also needs to be enjoyable. Like, it should be fun to use. Yeah, it shouldn't feel like a chore. And it has to be useful. It should actually solve the user's problem. Exactly. Yeah. And equitable, like we talked about before. Right, making sure everyone can use it. And there are other things, too, like consistency and providing feedback to the user. So, like, things should work the same way throughout the app. Yeah, and the app should let you know what's happening, like, when something is loading or when an action is complete. What are some examples of apps or websites that do UX design really well? Well, I think... Spotify is a great example. It's super easy to use. You can find what you're looking for quickly and it personalizes your recommendations. Yeah, I love Spotify. And Airbnb is another one. It makes finding and booking a place to stay so seamless. They have really nice pictures too. They do. They really nail the visual design as well. So if someone's listening to this and they're thinking, hmm, UX design sounds pretty cool. 
What advice would you give them? I'd say start by learning the fundamentals. There are tons of online resources and courses available. Any specific skills they should focus on? Wireframing, prototyping, user research, those are all essential. And get familiar with design tools like Figma. Figma seems to be really popular. Yeah, it's a great tool. And don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. So just dive in and start creating. Exactly. And connect with other UX designers. Join online communities, attend events. Networking is so important. It is. You can learn so much from other people's experiences. So what's like the biggest takeaway you want listeners to have about UX design? It's a really rewarding field. You get to solve problems, use your creativity, and make a real impact on people's lives. That's awesome. So anyone can learn it if they put in the time and effort. Absolutely. There's always something new to learn in UX design, but that's what keeps it exciting. I think that's a great note to end on. So if you're intrigued by UX design, go check out some resources and start exploring. Yeah, and see if it's the right fit for you. You never know, you might discover a passion you never knew you had. I love that. Huh. Well, thanks for taking this deep dive with me into the world of UX design. It was my pleasure. I learned a lot, and I hope our listeners did too. I hope so too. See you next time. See you later. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.